If you know just a little bit about how animals like caimans and monitors are housed in real life, then you have probably noticed that their space requirements in Planet Zoo are pretty extreme. Good thing is that sandbox mode exists to help us deal with that. But even here making small functioning habitats can be tricky, especially if you want to include water inside of it. So how do we deal with this? Well I made a discovery that is useful for old school medium sized reptile displays, as you might would like to be able to build for animals like these. Instead of struggling with the terrain tools to add a small pool as I've done before in this old video, I'll today only use scenery items to make a habitat almost as small as they can be while it still appears to feature functioning water. Lately I've been playing a bit around with the fountains since these are among the few scenery items which contains water. In most cases they don't work as you would hope. The animals cannot go into them and will instead walk in the air above it. But one fountain decided to be better. And lucky for us, it is one with a decent shape and size for a fake pool. So this is the one you want to use. Today's build will be a bit of a standalone blueprint for now, which is why I'm in a panorama map. But I will probably be using this in my new zoo, Kenobi Gardens, at a later point. So make sure to subscribe to my channel to see how that goes. While you can make habitats almost as small as you want, you risk that your animals cannot move at all if you get them too small. If you go under a size that is somewhere around 6 times 6 meters, then they will not move it seems. The exact size I'm a little unsure about but should be somewhere around there. And around this side you might also risk not being able to find room for both food and water in your habitat since they can be placed too close to the gate or something like that. So today I'm going for a size that is 6 times 8 meters to make the habitat small but still functioning okay. I want this blueprint to appear useful for our two caimans and the Nile monitor. So I had them all three around when I first started to build to keep an eye on the traversable area. They're all three able to move around in here and get into the water. They of course can't recognize this fountain as actual water so they behave in it as they do on land. But since you often see animals like these just laying still in the water, feels quite believable when they just walk into it and hang out. I'll now just jump a bit ahead in time till we got this frame here with floor, pool, walls and ceiling. Then we can start to decorate it. We'll add some details and some decals to the wall to make it look a bit old. Add some fake rocks and some planters with tropical plants and let a bit hang from the ceiling too. We need a feeding tray and a water bowl, but that one I hid in the pool. You will of course still need a water bowl or similar in here since the animal cannot recognize the fountain as a water source. Then we'll need a heating lamp since this is for reptiles after all and some light in the ceiling too. Let's add some ventilation and a way in for the keeper of course. Now we can close it all off. Now we can look at the final blueprint and then I just need to mention a few things. I ended up making the habitat itself a bit bigger than it was before because otherwise not every piece wanted to be part of the habitat blueprint. They can be annoying sometimes. But the usable area for the animals is the same, so it still appears as a small habitat as intended. Since I still wanted the animal to move around in here and also be able to adjust the build later when I add it into my zoo, I kept the amount of scenery pieces fairly low in here, especially in the front. I hope you like this alternative habitat build and that you can find use of this fake pool technique. You can let me know in the comments and of course don't forget to leave this video a like. And this technique already gave me a few other ideas I might dive into another day.